G'day, welcome to Adelaide Footy Chat. Um, it's Rafa and Bevo here. How are you, Bevo? G'day, Rafa, mate. Uh, Div 1. It's going to be a big year again. It's going to be very exciting. Uh, what happened with the first game between the Goody Saints and the Brighton Bombers? Yeah, well, Brighton Bombers have gone from, uh, after joining the Amateur League about four or five years ago, now they've gone from 4-1, to one, which is a hell of an effort by those guys. So, but Goody Saints a bit too strong. It's 14 goal, 8 92 to 8 goal, 17 65. So, a bit of inaccurate kicking from Brighton Bombers would have made it. Don't kick his bad yeah. footy. That's what they say. I think it's Charles and Louis said it today, I reckon. So, yeah, I reckon uh, they could be straight. It could have been a different story, but in the end, Goodwood Saints took their chances, so who from Goody Saints hit some goals. Yeah, so A. Dempsey snagged four sausage rolls, and Jay Hughes also four, T. Anderson two, Burgess two, um, B. Holzbauer and J. Hyten with the goal each there for Goodies. Best players in Burgess, first best, second J. Hughes, third A. Dempsey, fourth is uh, L. Whitelock, and fifth was T. Galing. What about Brian Bombers there, right? Yeah, J. Evans two, A. Warner, B. Tate, D. Lang, J. Juniper, S. Kennedy, J. Sperling, best players B. Trembath, J. Sperling, S. Harveys, B. Williams and J. Evans. Good stuff. So it's certainly going to be a pretty even Div 1 this year and um, I reckon both sides will be right up there with the pointy end of the season. What do yeah. you reckon? I think, I, think, I think Brighton Bombers will sort of finish between 5th and 8th, which will be a great year for them coming first year back up. Good saying to we were saying before, I reckon top 14 for sure. Yeah. So. No, it's going to be a beauty. Um, another side that's actually come up from uh, Div 2. Last year they didn't lose a game in Div 2. That's Spocky's St. Peter's. They took on Henley on the weekend. And uh, what happened with that one, Rafa? So they're, they're probably two clubs that should have never been in Div 2 the other year. Um, it was weird seeing Henley and St. Peter's in those, in those grades. But uh, it was uh, St. Peter's too strong. 11 goal, 7.73. Sophia yeah. Henley, 10 goal, 6.66. Shout out to um, the McClay boys there. Jock McClay, great fellow. He used to play at Birdwood. Um, too good to be playing in the amateur league. He should be playing at Stanford Footy, but anyway, that's a whole different story. He was at Sturt. His brother yep. um, played a number of games for Sturt in the league there, so hopefully Jock might get a second chance. He's still young, so you never know, but in terms of the goal kickers for St. Peter's there, what happened, mate? So Jock McLean, two. El Mitchell, two. Jesse O'Brien, great pickup. I know the Payne boys were upset they couldn't get him. N. McGill, H. Allen, S. McClay, B. McGill and J. Lockwood. Best players, Jesse O'Brien, H. Haywood, B. McGill, T. Schultz and J. Lockwood. And for Henley, had N. Heath scoring two goals as well as J. Smith and Thunig with two, Lodge two. H. Jessen and N. Bowles with a goal each there for Henley. Their best players, J. Smith was first best, L. Martin second, T. Lane third, B. Kitto fourth and fifth was H. Jessen. Good to see big uh, big Ned Heater getting a few goals there, the big male model. <laughs> I like it. Uh, so Paynham took on Teacher Gully. Now, we are talking off air before about Teacher Gully. Last year's Div 1 Premiers, Justin Michaud as a coach, great fella, met him the other week. And unfortunately, they've lost quite a few. Troy Menzel being one of the biggest ones going to the Doggies, of course. And um, they struggled, unfortunately, in their first game. What was the scoreline with that one there, Rafa? Jeez, bit of a, bit of a shellac in there. 22-14, 146. Paynham defeated 9 goal, 11-65. Teacher Gully, 65. Wow. That's a Big loss, yeah. You told me that last year that would happen. I would have told you, told you dreaming, but yeah, yeah you, you, you start. Yeah, a few boys out of pain, and I know out there going well, which is great to see. Liam Davis, great fella, five goals for him. Um, A Force, the four, in Golly, two. Uh, M Nye, two. Paul Lowe, get a lower he stayed the goal, great fella. Um, J Giannini, um, T Wagner, D Pippet, J Bauer. M. Leagalgo and C. Milne with a goal there for Payne and Norwood Union. Best players, Liam Davis, first best, C. Bauer, second. Brenny Ansel, another bird with lad, great yep. fella, third. Um, J. O'Leary, fourth, and P. Sanzo in fifth best. What about the gullies there? It's not a go and uh, no problems with that, my mate, Matty Trainos. Uh, they thought they were going to miss him a bit, but now he's uh, yeah not missed at all. <laughs> um, teacher Gully, P. Pisanos, three. J. Spence, C. McKay, D. Shaw Makers. C. Shawnmakers, B. Latham and T. West, all with singles. D. Shawnmakers, B. Persisos, H. Cowlick, C. Santa Cobb, and S. McWaters ran out the best players for T. Trigulli. Shawnmakers not a common surname. Eh? Wonder if, must be some relation to They are, right. they are. Yeah. Yeah, I believe they're related to the Shawnmakers' big, uh, big thing down T. Trigulli. Good stuff, mate. Um, Adelaide Uni took on Port Districts, and Port Districts, um, a few people have actually said they're going to be a team to watch this year. Um, Port, District, is Port Districts winning that one, 11 goals, 11, 77, to Adelaide Uni, 12 goals, 2, 74, as we just bring up those details. Um, who are the goal kickers and the best players there for Adelaide Uni, Rafa? Well, same with Port Districts have had the same crop for a while now. Hopefully they're, they're ready to go to take the next step. So, Adelaide Uni, and language 3, E, Dad, or was it Dad's two, and Marini two, Jay Keynes two, and Marini, 
Armarini, Jay Strange, and N Langridge. And best players, M Marini, R Marini, M Langridge, C Parker, D Cunningham, and B Adams. And for Port Districts, we had G Shepherd 2, Batty 2, and M Weistra, uh, Nyshaskis, uh, Davidson, T Heffernan, uh, M Gaffney, B Drog Muller, and W Northeast there with a the goal. I wonder if he's related to Paul. He Bobby. is, but, I believe uh, he is, yeah. There you go. Northeast. Not a common surname again. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the best players for Port Districts are Z Hawkins, first best, S Davidson, second. Uh, J Nice Kosis, that's a mouthful. <laughs> David Coulthard, fourth, and M Weistra, fifth. It's, that's there it's, for it's, fourth district. It's uh, this course. He's the relation of old Bugsy in this course, the uh, former soccer row. So. Nus Nuskus, oh, there you Nuskus, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not good with pronunciations. That's all right, yeah. Oh, I went to school with Nuskus, so. Yeah, no, that helps. Well. yeah, yeah. And next game? Next game, so we had Ross Trevor. Um, Another side who's going to be right up there, have been for a number of years, um, they took on Prince Alfred, who of course won it a couple of years ago, did one. Um, Brock Castry was playing for them and obviously got on to play for North Adelaide and went and flag with them, which is a great story. So yeah, um, no. certainly no. some good players out there at Prince Alfred and Ross Trevor, but who were the best players and stuff for uh, Ross Trevor, mate? Yeah, so H Command 3, El Manuel 2, M Code 2, former Gold Coast one there, T, yeah. T Bacanello, K Scott, J Jordan, L W sorry, W O'Malley, P Fantasia, J Butterworth, and P Dawson. Best players: L McCormack, J Butterworth, T O'Malley, L Manuel, and C Jordan. And Prince Alfred. So Prince Alfred, we had the Pit Boys um, sharing seven goals between them. That was J Pit with four and C Pit with three. O Clark with two. A Perriman, T Wicks, and D Clayfield with a goal each there for Prince Alfred. In terms of the best players: C Pit first best. A. Perriman second, D. Clayfield third, C. Riggs fourth, and J. Pitt fifth best there for Prince Alfred. I see those two teams uh, in the top four for sure this year. Yeah, most definitely. Um, so this week's games, mate, I'm sure there's going to be some rippers to look forward to. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and it's certainly going to be an exciting Div 1 this year for sure. It's, um, yeah, it's certainly going to be an open season. Hard to pick a winner, isn't it? Yeah. At this early stage. But um, first game, we've got... Brighton Bombers taking on Adelaide Juni. Uh, that's a Brighton Oval on Saturday. Arvo, how's that one going, mate? I think Brighton Bombers will get their first win in Div 1. Uh, hard to beat down there, Brighton. So I think uh, Brighton by about 12 plus. Yeah, Brighton for me as well by a few goals. Um, Ross Trevor, Old Collegians, they're taking on Payton. This should be one of the games of the round, I reckon. Yeah, um, a lot of those guys would have gone to school together or some of that. So, yeah, I reckon uh, Ross Trevor for me. Yeah, I think Payne and Morrick and Payne are okay. going to be a team to watch again this year. If Liam Davis can kick five every week, they're going to be yeah, really dangerous. Course. So, it's former Norwood Premiership player, two time Norwood Premiership player, of course. Um, next game, St. Peter's Old Collegians have still like still yet to lose a game for about two years. They were undefeated last year in Div yeah. 2, got up to Div 1, won their first game last week. So, they're going to be really good this year, I reckon, St. Peter's. Big challenge, though, against Prince Alfred. This is going to be... Serious, like seriously know what they're like this this year when they take on Prince Alfred on Saturday. So. Yeah, I'd be thinking Prince Alfred just uh, the extra year in Div One, they've been a bit more settled. I think uh, Prince Alfred for me. Yeah, big rivals of course, Prince Prince Alfred. They like each other. They're, they're pretty no. boys. The pretty boys down there. They don't like each other at all. Um, yeah, I think Prince Alfred just with that experience of being in Div One for a long time, yeah. get the chocolates for that and one. And this is a Western Suburbs derby. Yeah, Port Newcastle versus Henley. Um, you play, yeah, they grow up, and these are the two biggest clubs in our area, um, Port Districts and Henley. For me, I think Port Districts, their small forward line, uh, for me, just it gets going too well for me, and I think yeah, by about 20 plus. Yeah, Port Districts are string two in a row together, and yeah, they're, they're looking alright this year, I reckon. So, and the final game of the round, the struggling Teacher Gully are taking yeah. on Goody Saints. Um, it's our Teacher Gully, though, where they play pretty well, but. Yeah, goodies for me, I think they've just got too much experience and Gullies have lost too many players. Yeah, I'll be, I'm agreeing with you there. Goodie Saints, uh, five goal plus for me. And thanks for watching. Tune in next week.